All right, people, what's going on? Then I knew here. Um, I apologize for the sound of my voice. Um, I know I sound kind of raspy, but I'm just getting up. I know it's like uh, six o'clock in the morning where I'm at, so. <clears throat> uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update as far as why I haven't been uploading a, um, a lot for the past few days. Um, nothing super serious. I mean, I'm not taking a break from YouTube or nothing like that, but. But I just know the only thing that's going public as far as my videos are the the Star Wars beta stuff. But I know that stuff was was recorded three or four days ago. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I know ma uh, basically the uh, the reason why I haven't been recording as much is because I just have a lot on my mind. So I apologize if this is if this commentary is going to be kind of sort of rambly. Um, I'm not going to really talk about anything specific. But I just felt like I had to, you know, talk, so I figured it's the best time to make a commentary video. Um, gotta get some stuff off my mind and, you know, try to get me not think about it. And, um, I don't know if any of you guys are watching my Metal Gear Let's Play, but that's where this video is from, obviously, as you can see. But I haven't been playing it as much, um, basically, uh, because of D-Dog. <laughs> um, I know I love the character, so it's kind of, sort of weird for me to say, but, um, the reason why I haven't been uploading a lot is because uh, I've been dealing with uh, my elderly dog. Um, if any of you guys have uh, uh, been a fan of my videos for a long time, he's the dog that's been barking in most of the, in damn near like most of the videos and stuff like that. So uh, he's pretty much, uh, like I said, he's elderly, so he's on his way out. <laughs> uh, but he's like old. He's like. Uh, probably 15 and like three or four months that's how old he is i had him since i was uh 10th grade in high school and i'm 32 now so he's you know getting up there in his old age but uh i've been dealing with that kind of whole situation and it's really putting things in perspective as far as uh you know dealing with life changing things you know i'm a realist at heart so it's not like i'm broken up about it by any means or anything like that and, and I'm not looking for pity that's not the reason why I'm making this video at all but it's just um, I've been thinking about it a lot over the past couple days because yesterday I had to actually call um, a local vet place in Maryland to actually you know get him you know put down and everything and that was a huge blow for me to do because to me I've always treated my dog as if he was a uh, as if he was like my little brother, you know, that's how I would treat him. I mean, I, I'm not one of those kind of people who clothe their dogs and all of that mess, but as far as how I feel about him, how I treat him, you know, I like him better than I like some people <laughs> uh, by any means. And um, I would come after somebody or let's say go at somebody, you know, fight them, if not hospitalize them, if not would do more worse things to somebody. If like if somebody hurt my dog, you know, that's just how I feel. That's, you know, that's what kind of person I am. And uh, I've been dealing with him for like the past three or four weeks because he has something where it's he's hasn't shown any kind of sign of like any illness up until like I want to say like a month and a half, two months ago. And he suddenly got hit hard with some kind of sort of disease or something that shepherd dogs can get where it like paralyzes them. <laughs> so he's not a. Uh, you know, it's not like he's like a typical elder person where you become senile or you forget, you know, your surroundings, you forget people. But he but it's weird that because I've had a few uh, elder relatives in my life, you know, pass away. And as somebody who has never I mean, I've, I've been with those elder relatives, but not, let's say, day in, day out to see every change. Except for one, I saw like 60% of what he went through. But it's it, it's kind of sort of weird that after watching my dog for the past, let's say, month degrade further and further and further, that he's doing the same things that, that I see people do, you know? And it, 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 I find that fascinating, but at the same time, it's it's like it's like one of those things where it's like it hurts my heart because it's, as a family member... You know, you want to help them. You want to fix their, you know, their ailing problems and at least try to alleviate the pain some kind of way. 
but when you're dealing with a medical condition or something that's killing them or, or old age, it's just one of those things where it's like it makes you feel miserable because you realize you can't do shit. You know, there's literally nothing, excuse me, there's literally nothing you can do except, I'm not going to say suffer through it, but come to terms with it. And uh, so that's why I haven't been playing a lot of Metal Gear as of late, because every time I see fucking Dee Dee, it, you know, it brings me right back to that. So I'm not one of those people who get real emotional like that. So it, it, it's not that's not the whole reason, but that's one of the main reasons. But. But I do got some gameplay saved up, so you will, you know, so you guys will be seeing some more of this tomorrow if you're interested. So, but um, it's just, it's just really weird how, how age and let's say when people or animals get close to death, that you, you, they, they go through the same exact motions where it's like one day they'll be fine, they'll be up and about like everything's fine. You know, next day, you, you, you can see in their eyes, like, it's almost like, you can see, like, you know, the spark of life isn't there. Like, they're alive, but, um, I don't know how to describe it, but, like, the will to live isn't there. You know, it, and, it, and, it's, and it's weird for me to say, if you guys have never had anybody in their life die like that, where you were, let's say, watching them, you know, day in, day out, to where you can see them. Um, I'm pretty sure it's probably the same way where it's like you can just see that that will to live just not being there and for my dog he spontaneously you know like I try to you know comfort his you know comfort him as best I can I try to feed him and uh, make him drink water things like that but half the time it's almost as if like he don't want to go on you know like I said that will to live isn't there so he he doesn't want to eat anything he doesn't want to drink anything and I know that uh <clears throat> that uh <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I know but as the days goes on that I know that's just going to make him worse and worse and worse so I always try to at least keep food near him but the problem with that is like I said the thing that's messing up with him is that uh you know like I said he's kind of half paralyzed where <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me damn but like I said he's kind of you know half paralyzed from like the waist down he's like a paraplegic almost where it's whatever neurological disease that that, that he has is it's fucking with him so much where it's making his muscles in his body degrade to where he can't even stand up and to where he you know can't actually get up to take two steps to go get his food and things like that so I've, I've always been one of those people to like you know fuck that you know I ain't putting down my dog when he go you know he goes when he goes but at the same time, it's like you can't let, you know, especially if it's somebody or, you know, your pet that you care about where it's like you want to you don't want them to suffer either, you know, and I know I can't be with them 100 percent of the day. I don't have relatives that can't be with them 100 100 percent of the day. And I wouldn't even ask them to, you know, even if somebody could, because it's, it's not right to involve somebody else in that whole picture just to keep him around suffering in that kind of sort of frame of mind so um that's what i said yesterday i had to actually call the place to schedule uh for, for, for him to actually be put down and as of the time of this video it's i know it's probably like what five or six in the morning i know by two in the afternoon that's when i got my appointment so that's why i felt like i had to get something off my chest and actually talk about it because i gotta actually go take him in there to get put down today and it's sort of, it's, it, it, it's, it's going to be a weird feeling. Because like I said, in my house, um, he's been, you know, here for like the past 15 years. He's like the steady constant in your life. Kind of like um, if you, if you come home every day, there's a certain, let's say, creak in the floor or jiggling of the doorknob or the sounds that you hear in your house over a long period of time. I know a lot of you young guys probably won't understand what I'm saying, but for anybody who is, let's say, around my age or in their 20s, you guys will know, like, if you've been uh, in a, a same situation or, you know, if, if you've been living in the same home for an extended period of time, there's those certain constants that you have in your life that kind of sort of, I'm not going to say comfort you, but you've grown to, you know, expect. And my dog is the same way. Like, every time I pull up to my driveway, he's always you know, chilling in the window next to the front door, looking out, you know, or 
I'll be in my room making a commentary video or recording something for YouTube or something, and I'll hear his feet scramble on the floor. You know, it's that content of always knowing I know he's there. And based on how he acts, I know if anybody else is in the house or let's say outside and all that kind of sort of stuff. So it's kind of, I've grown to kind of ex expect it. <laughs> so, but I know after today, it's like, that's not going to be there. So I know there's going to be like a part of the home or a part of me is actually going to be missing from, you know, from the home, you know, after he's gone and everything. So it, it's just kind of sort of weird to deal with and all of this stuff. And, and this is something that I ne would never have thought to deal with, let's say six months ago. Because that's how fine he was. Like, I knew how, how old he was. But he's never shown any kind of sort of medical illnesses or nothing. It was just, it's just all within like the past month and a half, it's just like kicked in the front door and said, Bitch, I'm here. Deal with me. <laughs> and it's kind of... Not, I'm not saying it, it's it's not been a struggle, but it's been uh, it's been tough emotionally. And like I said, I'm not looking for pity or, or anything like that, but... And I'm not, you know, one of those people to get tremendously emotional and start crying and I don't feel overly sad. But like I said, he's been like my little brother. It's like if, if I had one of my brothers, you know, dying and I got to deal with that. It's, it's the same exact sort of situation where it, it's just like, you know, it is what it is. You know, you just got to come to terms with it. But I know that's the main reason why I haven't been recording. Um, also, um, as far as some stuff that... uh. I know I'm late on. I know I was supposed to get a Forgotten Fridays video out, but um, I got, you know, I'm not I'm not going to say I got stuck playing Star Wars Battlefront with a friend, but I know I was playing uh, playing with him doing that. And those are the videos that you guys been seeing every day uh, pop up. And that, would, and that was just fun as hell. So I just didn't have the time to record a Forgotten Fridays video. But um, I don't know if anybody even, even still looks forward to those, but I'll try to knock out another one tonight or, or, or tomorrow or something like that. So if any of you guys have anything, you know, you want to see me play, let me know down there in the comments. But um, also, I've been meaning to put up because uh, I know I, th I think they had the first episode of Arrow drop for that. So I, I, I've been wanting to get uh, kind of like what I did with Shield and Flash because I know I got to play catch up on, on Arrow as well. But um, I've been also wanting to try to get a video, you know, kind of like an episode review. Um, about about episode one for uh, for Arrow season four, I think they're on, but um, just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I may make it a two part episode because I think now now we're in the next week, so I'm guessing I don't know when episode two comes out, but I got to figure that out. Maybe I'll may maybe I'll make like a part one and part two video of that. But um, also ex expect more um, TV show stuff. I know I'm gonna try to. Uh, maintain with Shield, Flash, uh, pretty much anything that I'm really into. Uh, I'm gonna try to be posting to. I may even do anime episodes too, because like I said, um, I I have to play catch up with that as well. Um, and I know I watch anime off and on, you know, throughout the years. I mean, that's like a huge part of my life, just like video gaming. So I may start doing that too. Um, the one I may start with is Dragon Ball Super. I have just got finished uh, watching, let's say, from episode one. I binge watched it from episode one to, I want to say, like 10 or 11. I know Goku was fighting Beerus when when I stopped. So I know I have a lot of thoughts on that being a long term DBZ fan. So um, I definitely want to try to get I may summarize that and, you know, in like one video, you know, my whole thoughts of what I've seen of it so far and then. As the weeks go on, do like an episode kind of sort of thing, just like I did with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, But uh, also with that, if you guys have any animes that you want to see me do that with, or let's say review, I don't mind checking them out either. Because like I said, I have to play catch up with anime. Um, I'm a huge anime fan, but for the past, let's say, two, three, four years, I've kind of fell out of touch with the stuff that came out during those years. So I'm playing catch up. Also, while at the at the same time catching what's currently out there as far as the newer season that's you know that's currently running and and the, and the shows that are let's say came out last season, so I'm, I'm I have to I'm starting to watch those shows episode by episode catching up with some of the newer stuff. So you know, like I said, if you guys got a favorite show you guys want to see me talk about or or anything like that, please do let me know. I'm always on the lookout for for, for fun anime as long as it's nothing. Uh, 
extremely, <laughs> extremely kitty. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I, I will watch it. And when I mean extremely kitty, I mean like extremely kitty as far as my anime. Because I mean, because as far as my anime genres that I watch, I watch tons of anime from mature action oriented anime, horror type anime, uh, slice of life animes, um, hell, even those romantic girl likes boy type animes. Um, hell, I know one of my favorite animes is uh, Tenchi Muyo. So if any of you guys know what that is, I even like those um, harem animes and things like that. So I really like those. So it's it's a broad spectrum of what I'm into anime wise. I just don't stick to one. You know, I treat it like my video games. I don't. You know, I just don't stick to one thing. But as long as it's nothing that's that's really really or extremely kiddie, I can get into it. And half the time, you know, you know, just I'll just say it like this: anything you guys mention, I'll check it out. And I will review it, whether it's it, you know whether if if it's kitty or not. I will check it out. I will watch it. Give my thoughts on it. So if, you know, if you guys want to see me do anything like that, please do let me know down there. Also, uh, also, I might do um a, um a commentary video like this once a week, just something to get my current thoughts on. Nothing really in particular. Uh, like I said, but I've gotten the idea from um I remember uh. A commentator who is somewhat interested in you know in um, in at least the stuff I do I don't know why but but uh, he's a commentator Frito I know I was on his podcast LPC um, a few months ago but I know uh, he, he he checks out my videos every once in a while and, and I like most of his stuff so um, you know he he used to have a series on his channel called Dumb Man Talking um, I know he recently put out another video about that but it was just this, you know just the thing where it's kind of like him just talking on the mic. And I know I was a huge fan of that, so I know that's what kind of inspired me to do something like this. Where it's just, I'm not, you know, I don't have a character. Like some people on YouTube, they have a character or a persona that they kind of jump into. I, I mean, with me, it's just, you you, you get me, you know. <laughs> I know in most of my videos, I end up like cussing up a storm, but it's not me pretending to be a persona or a character. That's just the way I am when I when I play games because I think it's, it just makes things more interesting and, and the fact that I'm an adult so I don't hold my tongue when it comes to none of that but I know it's an easy switch I can turn on and off so but um I'm, I may do something like this once a week you know where it's just me rambling on a long video or just about me talking about whatever experiences or whatever you know I want to talk about or you know what I've been playing that week or what have you so if you guys you know like to you know want to see more things like this like i said you know like i said two like two or three times before please do let me know i don't mind making longer videos like this so um i know as far as upcoming games um i'm probably gonna do um i know i'm gonna do halo when that drops um as soon as i actually get together the money to actually buy it <laughs> but um i'm kind of torn between a couple things because because now that i have an xbox one and i got a playstation 4 and I also have a pretty badass PC, so I can play PC games as well. Um, as far as my shooters go, um, I know I'm going to try to pick up a lot of games. But given that my money situation is kind of tight right now, I don't know when I'm going to be able to pick them up. Um, but the problem is, I know I'm going to get Halo. I know, I know I'm going to get that. It's, you know, That's probably like the first thing on my list as soon as I get $60 in my pocket. That's what that's going to. But I know for next month, you have a lot of games coming out. Like, I know you got uh, Black Ops 3. Um, I know I I want to pick that up because, like I said, I'm a fan of shooters in general and I play Call of Duty. Um, I don't play it, you know, I don't play it religiously like some people do, but but I am a fan of the franchise. But um, what I'm torn about, though, is I don't know what system to get it on, you know, because I have PC, I have a PlayStation, I have Xbox One. The problem is, none of the friends that I currently play with on the regular really play COD like that. So I don't have really nobody to play with in the past couple years of Call of Duty been out, even all the way to let's say Black Ops One. Um, you know, I never I've been playing COD for the most part solo. Um, even you know since I first started playing it way back when in COD Four, but. So I don't know what system to get it on. So if any of you guys, you know, want to, you know, hit me up on Xbox or PlayStation 4 or whatever, uh, let me know. And I'm going to try to get it on whichever system that I have the most people to play with on. I know right now on PlayStation 4, 
I don't have anybody really on my list who plays Black Ops that I game with on the regular. Um, so I'm leaning towards the Xbox One, um, only because I think I have like one or two friends who may play it, but then again, I don't know if they're going to pick up Black Ops 3 or not, so that's what I'm torn between. And then you also got the PC version, which, which I can also get for probably cheaper, but and at the same time, it may run better than the console versions, but then again, I doubt it because it's Call of Duty, so it's that's what I'm torn between is I don't know what system to get it on. Um, to be honest, and um, I'm, I wish I knew people on YouTube like that that I can make YouTube videos with and play Black Ops and just have fun for the long term, but um, I don't know a lot of people on YouTube like that. I only know a few people, and none of which, besides um, the one guy you see me making Star Wars and stuff with, Jolly, uh, the Jolly Mage, I'm cool with him, but he's like the only person who, you know, on, on YouTube that I actually game with. Um, so if any of you guys do YouTube and, you know, plan on getting Black Ops 3, let me know and, you know, maybe we can, you know, play together or something like that, but, but I would love to meet somebody on YouTube or to do something like that, something I can make videos off of and things like that, because, you know, that's, that's my enjoyment I get from YouTube is just playing games with, uh, playing games with friends and playing games that I'm interested in. I know as far as the typical YouTube BS, that, that's not, you know, that's not my thing. YouTube isn't a, isn't a job per se for me. <laughs> um, and it's never going to be. So I do it as kind of like an in-depth hobby. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd want to see it grow and making money would be cool, but it's not my end all be all as far as YouTube and, and, and I don't plan for it to be no, no time soon. But, but at the same time, I would still like to grow my channel and all that stuff. And, and, you know, socialize more on YouTube. I wish I'd have done, you know, socialize more um, coming up. Because like I said, um, like I said, a few commenters, I know I always mention this whenever, you know, whenever I talk about YouTube. I've been doing YouTube since like 2000, since like Halo 3. And, um, and I kind of sort of changed over what I normally do as far as YouTube. Because I used to put up just Let's Play videos. I would just play a game, record, and upload it no commentary whatsoever and I did that for like I want to say a year two years and then the channel that I was on got shut down and I didn't you know that was before I do the you um the rules around YouTube and what you could and what you could not do and and basically I would get games early and record them and upload them before they actually released so then I got three strikes got that channel shut down and then another you know I made this one and then that's when I actually read up about all the different rules about what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, things like that. And, you know, I've been on here ever since. But, um, I wish I'd have started out doing commentaries in the beginning. Uh, only because, uh, it's... I find that to be a better audience and it's a better way to express yourself rather than pure gameplay like I was doing before. But I know when I did that, I had a, a lot of people who, let's say, sub to me who would hit me up in comments and be like, oh, man, you should just do what you've been doing, yada, yada, yada. But, you know, I felt I needed to change. I wanted to do something different. So so at the end of the day, that's what I was going to do. And uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. But on YouTube, I've pretty much, as far as socializing, I pretty much treated it the same way that I am in real life, which is I kind of stick to myself. And... I want to say I wasn't necessarily like an extreme loner, but I mean, I did grow uh, grow up with friends and everything, but I've always been the kind of person who, if put in a social environment, let's say, like going out to a bar with friends or socializing with, you know, women and things like that, I'm always the kind of person who would stick by myself. And I realized, let's say in my 20s, that that's kind of... You, you, you can't live your life like that. You have to socialize because at the end of the day, when you're living your life, you're not you're not going to be by yourself. <laughs> you know, you're going to have friends you're, you look like you're going to meet women, all that good stuff. And you have to learn how to socialize. So in my 20s, I started branching out more and doing things that I normally wouldn't wouldn't even think about doing um, in an event to, to socialize more. And I wish I did that with YouTube starting out. Maybe I did. You know, maybe by now I would have a, a group of people or uh, a click on YouTube that I'm cool with that we make videos with. I wish I'd have done that, that you know, in the beginning. 
uh, versus trying to do it now because it doesn't take really much um, it's just you have to get with like-minded individuals and a lot of time YouTube is gonna be like real life where you have people who are two-faced people who lie people who bullshit um, and especially with the internet one thing I've noticed and this is somebody who is um, I'm not going to say learning the internet, but who, who has used the internet and remembered what it's like not to have the internet there. Because, I mean, I mean, like I was born in the 80s, and we went with the whole 90s, of, for the most part, not really having the internet like it is today. And people, a lot of time on YouTube, people treat it like it's real life. Where it's, they want to do one thing, they feel like they shouldn't do it because of community pressures and all of that, and and what's right and wrong and some people don't give a shit because they treat it like it's not real life and they don't care about let's say what their subs think or they don't care about the moral aspect of things and what's right and wrong and that you know they just don't give a shit whereas in real life they might be you know that kind of sort of you know person where you know they would care if, if they was in person but people on the internet when you deal with a lot of youtube bullshit they don't know how to deal with the reactions of let's say struggling to get views struggling to get subs not having people watch their content that they're making and they could be busting their ass doing it like I know I you know like that's something I do I bust my ass on my YouTube channel I mean it, it, it's a lot of work but at the same time you have to learn in life that you know you just don't get shit you have to actually work for it and even if you do work for it, there are times when you still might not get shit. I mean, that's just the way life works. Life is not fair um, in that regard. So you just really have to put your put yourself in the right place at the right time and hope things work, you know. But uh, that's why I say I, I wish I'd have been more social coming into YouTube versus trying to get in, you know, to now. Like most channels, um, they'll have a Facebook, they'll have a Twitter and all that shit, right? Right from the get-go. Me, I just started Facebook and Twitter and shit like last year. <laughs> like I, I'm not even sure if it's been a whole year yet <laughs> uh, since I've been doing that kind of sort of stuff. But it, it, it kind of integrates the community because it's since they're all linked together. Like, and I'm sure that's how people, you know, who I found other YouTubers who let's say like the content I put out is because I'll find their pages and I'll like their videos and and you know. But like, for instance, you know, I think um, Frito and the members of LCP, um, I know a few of them checked out my content and stuff like that. I, I don't know why they, you know, what, you know, what got them to check it out. Maybe it's because they see me like all their videos and maybe they just decided, you know, to click who is like, who is this guy or whatever. But I know that's a lot of that's a way of garnishing new new fans and new viewers is because if you didn't have Twitter or didn't have none of that shit and was just uploading videos then you're missing out on a huge portion of a different type of audience that could that could grow with you versus just you just you know just just happening you know catching one of your videos and like the youtube uh related videos comments or searching you know things like that so it, it's just that's why i say i wish i'd have started out from the beginning because then i, I would have probably had let's say more 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 people to interact with let me say that because i know i'm the kind of person who I, the main thing i get out of youtube is basically not necessarily playing games because i could play games on my own and don't really care about youtube like that but i like the interactions with people like i love being in a comment war with somebody <laughs> and making them feel stupid you know based on you know the information that uh you know that we're exchanging back and forth like like uh i'll comment on somebody's video and and, and youtube is weird it is a, it is a weird uh a weird sort of place like i'll go to somebody's video right um and it'll be like a video about um let me think of the last comment war i was in i want to say it was like march of this year and it was something stupid like um it was like could spider-man beat iron man or something that wasn't what the video was about but i think it was like something in the video made me say that well well not made me say that but somebody commented so then i replied to his comment like you know iron man you know can beat spider-man any day of the week you know 
And then he commented back, and we had a huge war, which drew in like 20 or 30 people. And most of them were fanboys, just not giving any kind of evidence or nothing like that. But it was like a huge debate between me and this one guy, whether Spider-Man could win or Iron Man could win based on, you know, their different power sets, their abilities, all of that kind of sort of shit. And, and, and past events and, and all of that stuff. And it's like, that's what I love about YouTube is the whole interaction. And, you know, like, I wish I had, like, a hater, you know, on YouTube. I need some haters, you know, that could, you know, consistently watch my videos, too. Because I know a lot of people on YouTube, they always talk about how, like, oh, they got people disliking their videos and shit. It's like, I don't have nobody disliking my videos. I mean, granted, I don't get, like, a, a lot of likes to begin with. But I need a hater in my life. Somebody I can, like, talk shit to in the comments and shit. But but that's why I love doing YouTube is, is the whole interactions. And, you know, it, 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 it kind of... I'm not going to say it, may, it makes me feel good, but I enjoy putting up something that other people like to see, you know. But at the same time, I'm not going to lower myself to put up any old thing just because somebody wants to see it. I have to enjoy it myself. And, I mean, I don't mind putting up something, but I'm not going to just put up whatever's hot, whatever's current, you know, whatever's hot in the streets, you know, on you know on my YouTube channel just because. Because I'm one of those people where it's like I have a lot of pride and integrity. And I don't even care if money was involved in it like that. If I was making that, you know, that YouTube money that a lot of big channels are making. I mean, I know for me, I just it, it, it still wouldn't affect me anyway. The slightest something I know, like I'm just like one of those people, you know, where money isn't <laughs> uh, isn't a huge motivator factor in my life. Um, not by any means. I know a lot of people I grew up with and even I'm sure that uh, you guys have in your lives where money is like the end all be all to them. But I know. My parents raised me and my brothers to be like, it's, uh, I'm not going to say we, we're not rich by any means, but we're not a, a extremely dirt poor either. You know, we're probably just above that to where it's like my parents busted their ass coming up because they were poor themselves growing up in their lives. So they busted their ass. So, so they were, let's say, somewhat comfortable. You know, they busted their ass working so that we didn't have to live like that. And um, so, but but they've always had the mindset. It's 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 that money doesn't mean anything, you know. Money, and a lot of you know. And I apologize for this commentary going all over the fucking place. <laughs> but um, but money. The reason why I think that way about YouTube is, is money coming up. Like I said, my parents they never really put a big stock in money, and they kind of sort of made sure as they were raising me and my brothers to make us think the same way where it's just like money doesn't mean anything at the end of the day what matters in life is basically you being a good person and for the most part you being a good person to other people you know you have to some people out there are I'm not going to say stingy but they're so fixated on themselves or what they have or what kind of clothes or shoes or material goods that they have where it's just it that's like their whole purpose for living and and life has so much more that 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 you could aspire to rather than just you know what kind of shoes you have or or what kind of car you drive or you know all of that typical bullshit because life i mean things change I, I mean as you grow up from like being a kid to an adult things change and at the end of the day, you know, what's hot now isn't going to be what's hot, hell, two, like, two years from now, you know? And you, as you change, you become a different person. Like, there are things that I used to like, let's say, ten years ago that I don't like now. Like, I used to be a fan of, of rap music coming in, you know? I, I used to listen to the radio. Don't listen to that shit no more. I mean... And this is, like, I grew up in Baltimore during, like, the 90s, so, like, I know everybody back in the day was listening to, like, 92Q and shit like that. Like, it was, like, a daily event to to go and listen to the radio, like, <laughs> during those certain hours that, you know, that they played certain music. And it's just, like, nowadays, like, I haven't touched the radio. Hell, when I'm driving in my car, I don't even turn on the radio. It's just, like, you know, I could say that, or TV, I used to be, I know me and my brother's, my dad had a, a corner store where he rented movies. 
and we seen like every movie under the sun we used to watch tv and shit like that i don't even watch tv no more i hardly ever like i don't ever turn it on i can't even say i hardly ever watch tv i, I don't watch it you know I, I will watch youtube videos or tv shows or streaming or stream tv shows that kind of sort of stuff rather than you know watching tv i mean i mean it's like things change and to bring it back to the whole money thing it's just like you have to change as a person you know, if if you have if, if you can't aspire to nothing better than just your t typical daily bullshit, then I'm not saying that's fine, but it's just like you should always be in the mindset to to expand your horizons because there's a lot of people out there who are so closed minded and you see it a lot more nowadays with racism and how people treat other people. It seems like every five seconds. And maybe this is wrong because, I mean, maybe being a black male in America, it seems like I can't turn around five seconds on the Internet or anywhere else without seeing some niggerish bullshit. Like, it, it, it is so sad how society is so, let's say, I'm, I'm going to say fucked up, but it's not really fucked up like that. It's just... I can put out a well thought out like I could post something on Facebook and I remember me and Jolly was talking about this uh, the other day where he you know he put out something on Facebook and it was something intellectual thought provoking and all that shit right but like nobody would like it you know nobody would share it nobody would do nothing like that something that would get you to make you think about something right but but yet people will post like a two second fight clip about people doing dumb ass shit or or something like that you know and ha have it be shared by everybody it's just like i don't know if it's internet culture or if it's just the younger generation nowadays or people in general nowadays it's just it, it makes me sigh and shake my head like we like we don't have nobody thinking nowadays you know it, it, it's it's such a, a you know we have such a shitty society where people just don't think no more you know, but I don't know. Maybe that's just my view on things, but I know it's not everybody because that's why I like um, a lot of the YouTubers I'm subscribed to and I try to bring this back full circle is that uh, a lot of YouTubers I'm subscribed to are, let's say, down to earth, real people, intellectual thinkers, or at least by my standards, they appear to be <laughs> um, after watching them for years on end. So that's you know that's pretty no that's pretty much why i like watching them you know they're always either doing a podcast like like frito and his friends or uh you know making a commentary let's say like wings of redemption where he'll talk about something thought provoking in a video every now and then where it, it'll you know get you to think about something it, it, it's something normal than just a, a stupid dumbass tips and tricks video but but anyway let me stop rambling i know it's been going on 38 minutes and since, you know, since Big Boss jumped in the chopper, so I know the video's going to be ending in a little bit, so. Anyway, guys, if you guys want to see more videos like this of just me rambling or just talking, um, like I said, I apologize for making this video long like this, but um, I just had to get some stuff off my chest and, uh, you know, get my mind right, you know, as uh, certain people would say, so. If you guys want to see more or if you guys have anything to say, let me know down there in the comments below. Uh, also remember, if you guys want to have me check out any kind of animes, TV shows, what have you, if you want to see me make little episode reviews like that too, also put the names of those down here in the comments. My name is Dananu, aka The Man With Black Privilege, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.